picking up something. system, home of Eos and Prodromos. Anomaly detected. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Pathfinder. Pathfinder? Darkit Trevian. I understand I was pulled from cryo ahead of schedule. My family is grateful, but I consider it my debt. Everyone gets out eventually. That may be, but the least I can do is show you the benefit. I'm Exo Studies now, but in a former life, let's say I knew tactics. If I supplied the Ket on this planet, I drifted in, and there's only so many gravitational paths. Here's some navs to check for anomalies. Good hunting, Pathfinder. My family thanks you, Pathfinder. Tell me about yourself. Darkit Turvian, W84 Crispin. Joined the initiative to be no one special, somewhere very special. Military family, as you probably suspected, but deeper. And I wanted to leave that life with as many lives as I could bring. I lost a brother before I woke, apparently. He was at sight, too. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as the Ket will be if they threaten us here. I didn't come here to look at death. I won't. Take care, Darkit. You too, Pathfinder.
Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. It's that mechanical. You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan into the camera bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. formations like this made a lot of kids think of alien worlds. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Pathfinder, the scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. Pathfinder, this area has been altered by Remnant. There may be something of use. Resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. It's a carcan nest, all right. Fan out. Get ready to fight! Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni Tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power Accessing it up, data, I can exhume its the data. The chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Nilkin is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. That's a relief. Good work. Pathfinder. There is also an audio recording. 
Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Koro wanted to check in with you. Picking up something. Sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is HNS. Attention, civil disobedience. 
Jenkins has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigated. Let's puke on the floor. I hear you went down to EOS. Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's Omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. I'm going to Tan, and I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Something I can help you with? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I hear you. It sucks when things aren't black and white. Are they ever? <sighs> if we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? It was crazy down there, life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. likes to think he's keeping an eye on us. Works both ways. Hydroponics reports oxygen production is not
until next of kin in the Milky Way is notified. This is HNS. Ryder, could we talk a moment? Anomaly detected. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Anomaly detected.
We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on? Collision is imminent. All stop now. Scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. I'm Ryder, captain of this ship and Pathfinder with the initiative. You'll come with me. They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. You can't take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! Nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find a support now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? <sighs> Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. <sighs> Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Av Naleseto. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. Yes. Ha, <laughs> look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. This is what it's all about, right? New worlds, new aliens. Wish me luck.
Tosco, she have a yen pot. Get Tosco, I'll time you hard. Thank you. Hey, I'm the ghost. Nice and roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Don't approach the crowd. This is the Resistance Headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. 
Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We... can't help you. The Musha I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. I hope I don't regret this. Me too. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. No way will. You really think the most are... Stars above! It's you! I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? for the chance to meet someone like you. Looks like it already paid off. Are all humans as quick with words? You'll have to find out. I suppose I will. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? The Cat hit your people pretty hard, right? They did. But long before that, the Scourge destroyed our technology, first targeting our ships. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. 
But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. You're trusting your history with an outsider? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? Recovering our past will go a long way. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. It takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. Rider, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The Resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. 
Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Ja wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's... do this. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Changing the nav point for Dar Palev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. 
Anomaly on the sensors. Something big. Possibly hostile. Taking evasive action. Wait. I don't think his... Something you don't see back home. Bringing us in. 